publications now because now whenever whenever you know the if you in the same height uh, which was occupying two levels now there are four levels so you will have a nine nine and a half db loss to the signal to noise ratio by say so you will make it up for that so here what they do is you know they you add uh, what is called power data collection to to compensate for that so you were you want to have error free transmission, but without any kind of, uh, without the help of any forward error correction, you won't be able to do that. Uh, so they, they can use uh, APC and to compensate for that. That comes with a slight decrease in the uh, data rate, there's some overhead. But you know, that is not sufficient, you know, this is, uh, so we can, we can do better than that if we use optical fiber to connect, you know, from uh, one place to another. The fiber itself has, Tremendous the, the, the rate is only limited by the, the speed of the optics, the optical circuits, and the electrical circuits that okay. So, but still, it will be, it, it will be, you know, a uh, lot better. So, these uh, optical lengths, lengths, what we, you know, found was they can support higher data rates at a lower power, including the overhead of. Uh, uh, Converting the electrical data to optical and optical back to electrical, even if you include all of that stuff, you see if you can still do a lot better with, uh, with optical data. So that has been the trend, and this is what has been uh, doing that. So in this picture, for example, the image tables uh, uh, here have been, you know, just to look like a rational here, have been replaced by optical uh, now, this is, uh, even here, again, there, there is no uh, satisfaction in one, oh, yeah, we have, yeah, we uh, accomplished a lot. So now, can we do even better? So even in, uh, you know, so our previous generation product, in order to transport 100 gigabits per second, we were using four wavelengths. So on each wavelength, we were spending 35 gigabits per second. Now, in, now with uh, our latest product, <laughs> 100 gigabits per second on a single day. So there's a four times uh, increase in capacity uh, over the last five years. That's what we're doing. So now let me uh, get a little more technical now. So, enough of uh, the motivation, marketing motivation uh, that we need. So, just like any other uh, communication system, if we, if, if you, can, you can have Broadly, you can uh, you know classify the modulation scheme into baseband and uh, that band. As you might know, baseband means you know if the information is not really carried on the the like like as I'm speaking here, my voice is not on uh, on it's not carried on any any carrier. You can directly hear that. Whereas you know what you hear uh, the music from radio or you know, cell phone uh, conversations or something. So that will be modulated onto a carrier and then you have to have the receiver So that is called fast band modulation. And then it's also called uh, coherent uh, system. So in the fast in the baseband modulation, uh, so the information is only carried in terms of you know the voltage level. So in zero could be something very close to ground and then one level could be a few hundred millivolts. So that's kind of um, but uh, Systems, which are, which are, which are set as uh, coherent systems. 
So here the information is that so we are making use of the phase of the signal also. So in addition to the amplitude, we have the phase also. So now we have another degree of freedom. So we will be able to more efficiently use the same amplitude. So with amplitude and phase, the 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 systems become uh, more complex developed by the power application. But they support more uh, more data. And then they are also helpful in uh, Compensating some of the non ideal ideas that come when you go with uh, you know, data center to data, like, like how a flower application about the 80 kilometer there. You have to do a lot of compensation there because, but there, you know, the system is not so much cost. So, but so, for example, if, if you could search a system, if you use POM 16, which is transfer the furniture attitude modulation, so you will have the constellation and you have 16 uh, points in it. And then when you, uh, like, just like any wireless receiver that you might have seen, mm -hmm. so when you transmit or receive, there is an interface component and the product of this component. And then each of them will have four uh, constellations. So the four times four will become uh, 16. So the, the number of uh, levels will be still be fan four. So I wanted to give a, you know, a natural span first comparison between fan four and non 16. So the, the water rate is still the same, yeah. Uh, you said the optical interconnects. Yeah. Now uh, at the chip level, yeah. it is still a copper. Right. And will that not limit uh, your ability in transferring at very high rate right. in, in terms of the interconnect? Correct. But that's, yeah, that's a very good question. That, uh, uh, yeah, that, that interconnect is, uh, luckily, is very short. It is not as long as, you know, it's not like uh, two kilometers type of thing. You know, so it will be a few centimeters. So the optical module, what we will do is, you know, we, we plug that uh, module to your processor, any, any computing device, for example. So, and, and then that will be a few centimeters, and wherein the, the attenuation is not so. It, it, it's there, you know, as you go to higher speeds, it, it will be there, but that's manageable. But that's something that we cannot avoid as of now. In, in future, there is, we are talking, you know, we are thinking of what is called in, in package optics. We want to come to optics as early as possible, but that is still happening, it has not happened yet. So that's, that's not is, there, is there any sort of figures where, what is the sort of uh, limitations in the chip level to the optical interconnect? Uh, although I appreciate that uh, there is a very small group that is used, there will be some sort of uh, the bandwidth limitation which again is going to limit uh, the optical interconnect. Right, right. So, is there any actual figures where uh, you are limited? In yeah. The optical yeah, that's a good question. So, to be very specific, <laughs> our next generation product is going to be an 800 gigabit per second. So, it's really, you know, eight channels of 100 gigabit per second, but now the, the what we call the Client side or the host side, where you really connecting connecting it to the computing device, that is 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 standardized with a what is called a VSR, you know, a very short channel. The uh, the current standard is that you know the night at night phase the attenuation is about 15 dB. So we still have to have a fair amount of excitation, but that's you know the limit. So the the in phase of you know the, sorry the in package optics that I was mentioning, there they want to go with uh, what is called this uh, high bandwidth memory integration. So there they want to there they can afford see all this serial communication in because you, you want to reduce the number of bits right you know so you cannot have a thousand bus with uh, with so many bits. But now the technology the packaging technology is also increasing. So they want to go back. In the other direction, you know, where we came from, we okay, go back in that direction and then reduce the data rate to a few gigabits per second, in which case that interface can be very quick. But you know, you can even have a instead of a, a differential signaling, you can just get a single signal. So that is still coming. Okay. But currently, for this, uh, the, uh, for this 800 gig application, the standard is to compensate for 15 gig of loss. And also, there also we are not using the fan tool anymore, so it's going to be fan four. Because of fan four, it is only uh, 15, 15 meters long. Otherwise, it will be another 15 meters. Very nice question. So, now in order for all this to happen, the, the, the fundamental building law is that we have to develop this 
And uh, the optical IC, there won't be any electrical components in that. All we will have is the conveyor guide, <laughs> so it doesn't require the fine line technology that is required for the system. So in our uh, process, it's the 130 nanometer uh, uh, process for the optical. <laughs> and also it doesn't require all the level of all the diffusion that is typically as a few metal layers. Whereas the electrical IC is a seven nanometer. So and then the um, the testing is a you know big issue here. So the because if it is three three inch paper, you know you will be you will, you know the total cost of the system is it's a it's a sum of everything. You know the manufacturing testing is a big part, and then you have to make sure that you know you have uh, pick the right uh, you know, good parts and then assemble it and all that. 